Well, howdy tubers. Well, my buddy Matt said, well, take a picture or take a video of the the zero, show everybody what you've done. I thought, ah, oh, nobody cares about it. Nobody, nobody says much about the models. So, because I, I went out yesterday and flew models for a little while, but didn't do any video. And, but I'm getting ready to head out and fly the Ultra Cruiser. But I thought I'd, since Matt wanted to see a video of it, I'll show you what the Crash Zero is looking like now. Of course, it looks pretty rough there on the outside. But I get her glued up on the outside. Of course, some of the resin has seeped through, but it'll pop off of there. And But I've been sanding it on the inside and then putting fiberglass cloth on there. And then once that's... Once that's all set up, then I can go back to the outside and start sanding it. I got a little bit of the Bondo glazing spot putty on there. And getting a patch put on here. That's still hardening, I think. And then fill that in with uh, probably a little bit more fiberglass or Bondo or something i'm not gonna get this all just absolutely perfect on the outside i hadn't planned on it because uh i just want to get a big gas powered not glow powered gas powered airplane flying and these zeros fly so good that uh i want to get it going um i did end up fi figuring out I did get this uh what one at the left yeah I did get this left wing to fit better of course here's one of the original right, right wings I still gotta repair that back there <coughs> and then here's off of the second zero I had I got this one to fit better. I got the aileron, and I could. I was telling Matt about these hinge point pockets from Robart. I really like those things because you can put them in there and then put your Allen wrench through there and take them out or put them in or take the aileron out. And if you break a hinge or something, well, then you, you can at least take it apart without cutting everything to get it apart but i did because i was thinking i was gonna before i started really tweaking on the wing i did go ahead and get this structure out of another wing and because um, i was thinking i was gonna try to foam cut me another wing and then and then embed this in there and that's not to say that maybe i won't do that at some other time but, um, of course, that still needs, I mean, it's straighter than it was, but, of course, I could just replace that and, and with a, another piece, and which would probably be better, and put all those holes in there and start all over on some of that. But I am going to, of course, this is an air cylinder that I made, and I'm going to, I'm, I'm thinking since it's a two inch throw and you can get those linear actuators in a two inch throw, uh, I'm going to try that and see if I can turn this over to electric. I still got to figure, still got to find a strut, a plastic strut, which I, I just don't know if I've got enough parts there, but I've got some steel Robart struts that, uh, that are too long. But I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm getting somewhere. And uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. And this is the left wing that I already showed you. And here's part of the wing that had that that structure in there for the landing gear. 
So, anyways, I am back on the zero since I got other airplanes fixed and flying. So, now I can get on to something else. But, for right now, I am going to go ahead and leave and go out and fly the Ultra Cruiser. So, may get a video there too. So, there you go. God bless.